this is one of the very introductory use, for example, of the 3D objects or 3D model within Touch Designer. So in previous exercise, we have manipulated the use of particle system by taking a look of the geometry, and within the geometry, we define a particle system. So we continue with the exploration in the next direction or different direction instead of using a pawn sprite and a 2D rendering of the particle system we can have a look of the original idea of the particle system by using three dimensional objects or models and we can go inside to our geometry with the original sphere So with the same way, you can add the sorting of the point we would like to emit the particles. And by using the random, it will create the random effect. So in our case, we would like to use, for example, 3D particles within the particle system. So in that case, we do not need to put in the in order to specify the point sprite size. So instead, we can go directly to the particle system. So over here, we can turn on the particles and then have a look of the effect. And we can also change the parameter in the particle system in order to reduce the number of particles to create. Or we can further reduce it. And the next step, you can specify a little bit of the turbulence. and reset it. So in the outer project of the output window, you see a very tiny particle as we have done in the very beginning of the class. So the next step is instead of creating the tiny dot, we would like to, for example, make use of other three-dimensional object, for example, like a box. And we can, for example, change the size of box into a rectangular shape. So this is another piece of the box in a rectangular shape. And in order to combine the two of them, the, the box and all the particle system, we make use of the copy objects in the surface operator. So the copy data will send in the box and the particle will be the template. And the next step is what we have done before is we can try to play around with the use of force and use the metal ball to create the region of impact of the force. So we increase the size of the metal balls to cover most of the particles. And within the force, we select with the same use the directional force and a little bit change into direction and we can turn on the animation to have a look so instead of just tiny dot so the result will be here that is the the box will form 
the particles and you can see the particle coming out along here and we can turn on the display and render thread and then move outside the project to have a look so this is the way it generates the objects as the particle system so we can actually do a reset to have a look of the new appearance and by using the texture operation we have learned before for example we can make use of a movie in to include some of the image from your hard disk and then use it as a texture for the material for the three-dimensional object usually in the material we use the font for this one to control the texture mapping and in order to use this one you select the geometry in the display tab and you drag the material over here so you can see essentially a dotted line connecting the two of them and within the material over here you can drag your movie into the color map and you can also select the brighter image to select the white color and you also see the dotted line over here and this is the effect of creating the the particles not by using the dot but by using other objects like this one you can create the effect like this and of course you can manipulate the force over here because in the right beginning we set up the force but we have not connect it directly to the particle system and once you connect you effect the force into some sort of moving and you can for example increase some of the force to have a look of the effect and you can isolate by resetting the old one since we do not create a whole lot of the particle for this effect because of the performance of the computer so you can more or less see the change of the moving direction of the force and also the particle as a basic graphical shape in this way and you can also use not only a box but by some combination by using the command merge to create a complex objects but of course at the expense of the performance of the computer so this is the overall result of your creation and of course you can also use the feedback and other 2D manipulation after you have done the 3D part so it's up to you whether you would like to enhance by putting more 2D effects over here